All right, hello everybody, and welcome to Reason Gaming TV. My name is Kainite, as most of you know, and uh, welcome to another CSGO SLTV game between a Polish side, who call themselves again, and uh, a Balkan side, a Serbian side, to be exact. However, I do believe they've got one Bosnian, um, and they go by the name of Game Pub. So let's see what they've got to uh, show us here on Inferno. So the T's all more or less A-sided at the moment, just sparring left, right and centre from uh, players of both sides. Nino taking his time in their second mid, and uh, what we can see on the map is, oh look, Neo and Pasha have pushed down Banana, which uh, has given them Banana control. What that allows Neo to do is basically sit at calm. Well, he'll tell the Poles that, hang on a second guys, no one's coming towards Banana, and as we can see, that's exactly what they've noticed. Pasha and his uh, lovely biceps making his way towards that uh, larger A bomb site. And they're anticipating the uh, Serbians now. They're anticipating them going straight into that A bomb site with the pistols, with the Glocks, of course, which uh, was nerfed down a few updates ago, but it still is quite a powerful pistol. So let's see what's going to happen now. Here we go. Nades going in. The nade from Snacks. And, uh, oh, look, Bayali on this A bomb site. He's spotted one. He's going to look to his right. He's going to take one out. Is he going to get a second? He is. Lands the headshot onto Nico. Three versus two. Not looking good for the CTs and Snacks. Well, he's trapped in a corner. He's managed to make his way back around the other corner. And he's got to wait for Neo now. So where's Neo? Neo, where are you, Neo? Oh, he's coming around the other side. Oh, that's going to be a great nade. That's going to deal a lot of damage. No, it dealt no damage to let N1, actually. But anyway, Neo is making his way. He's getting stuck in. One kill from Snacks. Another from Neo. The defuse begins. And they've got to track down this last terrorist. And Snacks does so perfectly with that silenced USP. And, uh, well, the Poles, they were a man down. But fair play to him. Three versus two. Managed to take out all three terrorists, and on top of everything else, they defuse the bomb, which means they can afford to uh, go for the early buy. We've got two M4s, three M4s actually, M4A1Ss, which means, of course, they uh, have that extra silencer on. Well, Taz and Pasha have both gone for the uh, for the FAMASs, which are, of course, slightly less powerful. But hey, a gun's a gun against these... Uh, terrorist P250s, but then again, we know how strong the P250 is on CSGO, so let's just wait and see how this develops, where's everyone going then? So the T's once again taking their time, two going towards the bottom banana and three in second mid, it's that same thing we saw from the pistol round, and what they've got to try and prevent now is allowing Neo and Snacks to make their way down to banana, there's first blood, pass on to Nino, Towns they can look into the apps where the terrorists go in. They're all going towards this A bomb site, but they've not got the bomb actually. The bomb's been left somewhere near apps or second mid, it looks like. Oh, but hang on a second. Hello, Bali with one. Three man from Bali. No, the other kill was from Pasha. And Taz comes in to get another one. Total whitewash from the poles. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Round number three, here we go. 2 0 to the CT side. Of course, Inferno is a CT sided map, so no surprise at the moment with what we're seeing. AKs have finally been purchased from the terrorists and I believe they all have armor as well. We've got three going towards second mid. Correction, four going towards second mid. Right, what are they going to do now? They uh, like to go second mid, these Serbians, don't they? But we haven't really seen too much from them. They've allowed Neo to keep on pushing down Banana like we've seen at the moment and, well, that basically cuts off half the map. It cuts off half the map that the CTs have to defend, which means they send four to the B to the A-bomb site, and well, the Serbians, they're being sussed out. It's as simple as that. So, what can let N1 do with his black laminate AK-47? He's making his way straight into the A-bomb site. First kill from him. Good stuff. Nico as well. Three versus five. Looking good now for the Serbians. they bought up. They've got the big gun. They've got that big AK-47. But we've seen them uh, lose a clutch round before, and we all know what Pasha Neo are capable of, the poles. So let's just wait this out and see what happens. The flash is going to go over. Apologies for that lag. Blame a uh, good old friend, GoTV. Are the CTs going to go for this? No, we've got all three CTs sat in the B-bomb site, and, uh, well, I'm not sure if that was the right decision from the CTs, but, uh, you know, they're the professionals, not me. There we go, the bomb will definitely go off now. The terrorists will probably just play it safe. Want to save their AKs? Of course, their AK-47s are a lot cheaper than their uh, counter-terrorist counterpart guns. The M4 is more expensive than the AK. 
So, 2-1. And, uh, well, we haven't seen anything surprising, really. CT side map, the CTs were on top until the terrorists bought up. And now, the CTs should be able to buy up fully, except by Ali for some reason. He's still on a farm ass, so hopefully that won't affect them, uh, won't affect again in a negative manner. 2-1 the scoreline, round 4, here we come. Oh, look at this, a stampede of terrorists now. Are they going to push in fast? No, they're taking their time. The flashes and the smokes are coming over. Nino with the nade there. Towards CT spawn corner. Where have the rest of the terrorists gone? Well, we've got four on Banana. And, well, I was speaking earlier on about the terrorists not letting Neo and Co. get towards the car area. And here we go. The rush is in. Snacks with one. I'm fully blind. What's going on, guys? Four. No, five on five still as it stands. KGR making his way into that bomb site. Nico with first move. KGR as well. Pasha's going to jump right in there and not take anyone down. Quite complacent there from Pasha. He should have probably waited for the rest of his teammates to uh, come in and rotate to this bomb site with him. And he fell to his death. He's wasted an M4. And well, Taz and Bayali, well, they're hiding at the A bomb site. Another successful round for the Serbians. So fair play to them. Five AK still standing. KGR and Nino both on low HP, but the CTs couldn't take him out. So they are going to be able to save their guns, of course, which means the terrorists will have more money in their bank account. 2-1 will become 2-2, two -two as the terrorists win, and, uh, well, will the CTs be able to buy up now? No, they won't. We're going to see a deco? No, well, are we going to see a few drops? Yeah, we're going to, uh, that's interesting, actually, we're going to see three silenced M4 buys, and a uh, regular M4 buy, and a FAMAS from Pasha. So, fair, fair play, fair play to the CTs. They've uh, taken the gamble. They're going to go all out and try and stop the terrorists from uh, winning this third round. Let's see how they're going to set up. They've sent three towards Banana, which uh, is an interesting setup. But again, we've seen Snacks and Neo take full control of Banana, which is something I like to see. I don't play CSGO as much as I used to, but that's one key thing in that. Inferno be on CS 1.6 or CS Source or CS Go. You've got to try and get control of Banana. If you can get control of Banana and stop the terrorists really going on Banana, then the only way they can get to that smaller B bomb site is through going through CT spawn. And that's exactly what Neo is going to be looking to try and do. Nino versus Neo at the moment. Neo's fallen back and Nino now has control of Banana. Snacks, as you can see, rotating back round to the smaller B bomb site. Where's the bomb? The bomb is on Banana. Pasha holding Arch. There's a smoke in his way. He's going to put a flash out to try and play the clock down. 40 seconds and counting as of now. Nino making his way towards second mid. Still yet to see a push of some sort from the terrorists. They're going to leave it late without a doubt and the CTs, while well, they're confused they don't know what's going to happen. We've got a few uh, flashes and smokes coming onto this smaller B bomb site. Emiv has rotated back down second mid and I think, yeah, there's the bomb. They're going to go for B, guys. For A, sorry. Let's see what happens. Bayali hiding on that bomb site. Taz with the first kill. Bayali with two. Good M4 work from Bayali. Repeating what we saw from him on the pistol round. And, well, hat trick from Bayali. And let's be honest, guys. GamePub aren't going to get anywhere near that bomb site as Bayali continues to uh, defeat the odds and pull off. Love Lovely four man, four man from Bayali. Good stuff from him. Held that a bomb site like a tank, and the uh, the gamble buy paid off for again. So fair play to them. And uh, three two is how it stands. The terrorists they won two rounds in a row with their AKs being uh, relatively cheaper than uh, their CT counterpart. They can afford to buy up again. So let's see what they're going to go for. The CTs, once again, Neo and Co. have put that smoke at the bottom of Banana. And here we go, Snacks and Neo both pushing down Banana, preventing the terrorists from making their way in towards Banana, which uh, pretty much limits the Serbs to having to stick towards the uh, larger A bomb site. Bayali with a nade kill. Bayali, once again, he's playing extremely well. Snacks rotating towards this A bomb site. Oh, look at this, the terrorists are already in. Taz has got a few to deal with. Headshot from Taz and Pasha as well. On to Nico. Two terrorists left standing. And uh, Taz and Pasha take out the trash. It's as simple as that. Hold the bomb sites. Let the terrorists come to you. And uh, take them out. It's as simple as that. 4 2 in favour of the Poles.
So let's have a look at the scoreboard by Ali. Well, we saw him get a four man a few rounds ago, and uh, well, he's top of the scoreboard deservedly. But uh, before we take another look at the scoreboard, looks like we're going to have a heck of a load of terrorists making their way up Banana. They're being flashed, and now they're taking it slightly slower. We've got Nico, who's on a P250, but no, he does have an AK47. So we've got five AK47s once again. Four terrorists on Banana, and only one terrorist near the B bomb site. So, is it going to be a fake from GamePub? Or are they going to actually push towards that smaller B-bomb site? They're going to have two CTs to deal with. But then again, they've got three CTs on the larger A-bomb site. So, uh, numerically, they're better off going towards B. That's assuming they get those two kills under their belt. So Nino, oh, Snacks pushed out and got that kill onto Nino, but he spotted another two terrorists. And as you can see, the CTs now, they're playing it safe, they've fallen back. They knew that Snacks got that important kill, and now they're anticipating the terrorists. Neo with one. Emiv now making his way towards that bomb site. He managed to uh, land that bullet in the head of Neo. Snacks is still there, they heard him. Snacks with two. KGO with another kill. He's all by himself. And Taz comes around the corner to finish him off. 5-2 to the poles and uh, it's been a typical inferno game so far i do think that it might benefit game pub to play to, to, to perhaps um, play a slightly faster game but uh, i don't know let's just wait and see how, how, how this develops they are on a deco now which means uh, they are on uh, pistols Nice nuclear threat pistol from Nico. Oh, he spotted one CT. He's going to go around the corner. Good shot from Nico. Takes out Pasha. Taz spots another. Pokes out. And uh, lands a few bullets in his chest to finish him off. Four on four as a terrorist pick up. An M4. Can they use it to their advantage? Nico spots another one. We know how powerful that P250 powerhouse pistol is. Bayali coming around the corner. We know how good he is with that M4. One from Bayali. Two from Bayali. Are we going to see a hat trick? We unfortunately aren't. But Taz is there nevertheless to uh, protect that bomb site as Snacks takes out the final. Serbian. 6-2. And uh, it's looking good for the Poles. It's looking good. We know that on paper, well at least in my opinion, this Polish team is uh, somewhat... Has got stronger individuals than the Serbian team, but CSGO is, of course, a team game. Both Taz and Pasha need no introduction. So, game pub now. They were decoing last round, but uh, they've got AK 47s this time around, so let's see if it pays off for them. Neo's been taken down to 63 damage because of that Molotov at the top of Banana. Barbecued Neo tonight. Oh, a load of flashes and smokes coming over to that to that larger A bomb site. Good shot from Nico. No idea where that came from. Bayali with one. Now Pasha and Bayali gonna have to like deal with all the uh, pole, with the all the Serbs at the moment. Two on two. The bomb's gonna go down on this larger A bomb site, and it's gonna be Nino to plant it. Oh, that Molotov has gone on. KGR, can he protect? His teammate, he's had to run away, he's run away, he's not protecting his teammate anymore, it's a team game, and Nino's going to have to play the game of his life at the moment. Two versus one as it stands, KGL's changed his position, Snacks is coming around the corner, he's shooting that AK-47, he can't spot anyone, one from Snacks, he's going to spray, he's looking for this last terrorist, and gets him eventually. The defuse commences, and we're going to have 7-2 to the polls. Very good retake from again. The KGR, I can see what he was trying to do, but I think he may have left it a little bit too late to try and change his position um, so fast. Fair play to uh, Nino, who's all stranded on that bomb site by himself. But uh, they really should have held the, uh, the bomb better, perhaps. Planted for pit, have a few players in pit. Players are a lot harder to pick off when they're in pit. And uh, Graveyard, for example and just being slap bang on the bomb site. So, where are the terrorists going this time? No one gone towards Banana, and Neo, of course, will be fully aware of that, and we could see Snacks rotating sometime soon. We've got a lot of flashes. What can Pashi do with him and his biceps? He can only get a kill. And uh, Bayali was going to come around the corner. One from Bayali. He's going to have two. We are going to have two. Two kills from Bayali. Lovely Brightwater M4 in his hands. And uh, hat trick from Bayali. Wow, Bayali, what a player. What a player. KGR, last man standing for the terrorists. Where are you going, KGR? You can run, but you can't hide. Snacks finds him and uh, gets 
the uh, eighth round on the board for the polls. So, uh, not much to talk about, really. It's, uh, Game Pub did well to get back into it after going 2 0 down, but after those two rounds that they won, they just haven't been good enough. They, they, they look like they don't have any ideas, they're not doing anything new, it's the same thing. Again, are rotating very well, they're letting, uh, well, Game Pub are letting Neo take full control of Banana. I really think that's working, that's not working in the, the Serbians' favour. Now, as you can see, it's as if they can hear me, guys, as if they can hear me. Neo's being pushed back now. And, uh, well, now it means the terrorists can potentially cause problems. They're going to keep the CTs guessing now because, well, as you can see, we've still got two CTs left on the B-bomb site and we've got three left on the A-bomb site. Neo hasn't pushed Banana. He hasn't got full control of Banana. He doesn't know Banana's clear. So as far as the CTs are concerned, as far as the poles are concerned, the terrorists could be anywhere. So, uh, Taz might start pushing up sometime soon. If the CTs, of course, do push up, so realise no one's in apps and realise that all the T's are near Banana. So, uh, come on, terrorists, hurry up. Get your running shoes on. Neo, preparing with that uh, incendiary grenade, or whatever it's called. We'll just call it the CT Molotov, shall we? And if it's had, uh, wow, he's got burnt feet at the moment, but it looks like the T's are set on going into this bomb site. Good shot from Snacks. And he's got another four to deal with at the moment. Nico nails him in the head with that AK shot. And Neo hiding at the back. They've heard him. Neo couldn't take anyone out. Not just yet. They're going to try and get him. Neo's got the wall to hide behind, but it's not enough. Nico will uh, send him back to CT spawn. Pasha coming from behind. Two from Pasha. And it's let N1 all by himself now. He's holding that angle. 17 HP is all he has. He's going to take down one, but the CTs know exactly where he is. And Taz uses that intel to finish him off 9-2 with three more rounds to go in this half it's not looking bright for the Serbians yeah it's a CT sided map but you need more than two rounds in one half unless the Serbs have something up their sleeves they're not telling us about um, unless they have uh, some sort of epic comeback um, lined up we'll just have to wait and see because unfortunately um, uh, I can't exactly tell the future but if any of you guys in the Twitch chat can tell the future then let me know <laughs> Anyways, 9-2. In favour of the Poles. Nino, ooh, Nino's been spotted in upper apps. Taz has a nade in hand by the looks of things. No, he's got his... Oh, there's a dink there from Nino. He's going to track Taz down. And I think you can see the blood on the wall. He's made a big mess of that. And Taz is in trouble. He's got an AK-47 in his hands, which might save him, but with only 12 HP... He's uh, as good as dead, pretty much, in my opinion. So, we've got not one, not two, but four. That's right, four terrorists coming out of apps now. Nino on to Taz. As we uh, predicted, Taz fell to his death. Nino's in pit now. He's uh, looking towards that bomb site. He's going to take down Bayali. A three on three. Snacks on to Nino. Wow, good rotation there. And KRJ is the last man standing along with Nico. Lovely headshot from Nico. They've turned this from a three versus two to a two versus one in their favour. And Neo is the last CT standing. He's going to make his way through towards Apps. He's anticipating someone in the pit area. He's throwing that Molotov. Is it going to deal damage? It is. Neo with one. Is it going to get this two versus one clutch? He's looking for KGR. He's going to throw that nade. That nade is going to blow KGR to smithereens. What a round from Neo. He has a diffuse kit. He's going to make it 10-2. And Neo is the type of player every team needs in their CSGO team. What a player. He came, oh, he knew exactly what he was doing. He made it count. Beautiful Counter-Strike 10-2 in favour of the Poles. That's what we've come to see. So, take a look at the scoreboard. Bayali once again at the top of it with 15 kills. Snacks with 11 kills. Pasha with 12 kills. Neo with 4. Neo's not doing too well actually. And Taz with 8 kills. Nico with 9 kills. Neno with 6 kills. Let N1 with 4 kills. And Emi with 4 kills. And KGR with 3 kills. Unfortunately, I've only got one monitor set up at the moment, so I can't exactly go to HLTV and check who the actual game put players are. And, well, my memory ain't great, so I can't exactly remember who they are. All we know is their game put guys I'm sure you guys know who these players are 10-2 and first ball has gone to the Serbians only snacks near that b-bomb site bearing in mind there's uh, only four CTs left and just as I say that 
Ali Ali makes it four tees left as well. Pasha looking around the corner. He's been dinked, but fortunately for him, he had a helmet on. So we've got three CTs on the B bomb on the A bomb site and only one on the B bomb site. It looks like the terrorists are more or less set on going towards this A bomb site, despite the fact that there's a uh, extra man on there. Or extra two men on there, to be honest. Let N1 look like he tried to fake the banana push. Nino is going to put the smokes out on where the terror is going now. It looks like, yeah, they look pretty much settled on this B on this uh, A bomb site. Apologies, I keep saying B. It's because I used to be a source player. But anyways, Nico coming round. He's going to check pit. I think he knows Bayali's there, but no, he's, there's a crossfire. The CT has got going on. Nico with the one headshot onto Bayali. Two from Taz. KGR returning the kill. One versus two. Pasha puts the Molotov out onto the floor, and KGR has got to try and get this bomb down without being burned to death. But Pasha, despite not uh, not forcing KGR to go through the fire, Pasha still sends KGR to to hell. 11-2, the score in favour of the Polish side. Round number 14. Let's go. It is, of course, going to be the... Uh, no, it's the second to last round of this half. And I'll tell you what, guys. If GamePub don't get these next two rounds, then uh, well, they'll need one heck of a comeback on this map to uh, pull it back off. Anyway, let N1. He's made his way all the way to the top of Banana and he's going to demolish Neo. Snacks all by himself. He's using that smoke to his advantage. He hears one coming in. Spots Nico. Deals with him accordingly. Taz. Very aggressive play from Taz. They weren't expecting him at second mid, were they? Three versus three. HP wise, probably slightly in favor of the uh, CTs. Taz. They know he's there. Why are they challenging him? I don't know. Taz doing what he does best. Getting another kill on the board. Let N1 and Nino making their way towards the A bomb site. Taz is no longer with us, ladies and gents. Two versus two. Nino is creeping around the corner. Let N1 will take down Pasha, which leaves everything at a one-on-one. -on -one. Snacks knows exactly where the bomb is. Well, it's on his back, to be fully honest with you, but uh, he knows it's somewhere near that A bomb site. He's just playing it cool. We've got around 40 seconds left, so there is more than enough time for Letton 1 to basically rotate back round towards that smaller B bomb site. Letton 1 with three kills so far this round already, so if he does manage to take snacks out, not only will he pull off one heck of a clutch, but he'll uh, also secure a four man for himself. So here we go, the bomb has been charged and planted. Snacks has uh, gone all the way back to that B bomb site, and he's going to push into this A-bomb site through from mid. He's got a grenade, which he hopefully can use in his favour. Just as I say that, he wastes it. So he's making his way towards this bomb site now. He hasn't checked graveyard. He's going to perhaps fake the defuse. No, he's going for it. He's holding. He's holding and letting one with the four-man. Lovely headshot. Just peeked out and <laughs> took out snacks. And that could be a very important round for the Serbs. It really could. Exactly what the doctor ordered for them. 11-3. And if they can make it 11-4, it'll be a slightly more respectable scoreline for them here in this SLTV game. So, Pasha with a uh, beautiful auto sniper. Let's go and have a look at what he's going to do with it, actually. He's looking down mid. Stat track auto sniper as well. Lovely jubbly. But it looks like the Serbs may have uh, perhaps expected it. The smoke's gone down at mid. Oh, look at this. Pasha's in trouble. He's got uh, all the terrorists coming towards his way. Bayali goes down. Taz goes down. Three versus five. Can Pasha use that auto sniper? Wisely, he spotted one. He most certainly can. There's one kill from Pasha, and wow, that auto sniper is a powerful weapon. They've got to stay away from Pasha now. Pasha's that, it's just that kind of player who will make him pay the price for any mistakes they uh, perhaps might commit. Three versus four. Down goes Snacks. Pasha and his auto sniper are still standing, along with Neo and his silenced M4. Both CTs are trying to push through together from the same place near that library area. The teens, they just have to chill out. Oh, Pasha, lovely headshot from him. Neo's going to push them. Neo with a kill. Oh, Pasha as well. Two versus one. Neo, you've got to hold the defuse. You've got to defuse. Pasha will get a kill for himself. Four man from Pasha, but the four man wasn't enough. And despite all the terrorists fall into their death, the bomb still went off. So, uh, successful round, I guess, for uh, the Serbians, of course. So, 11-4 in favour of the Poles. Of course, at 11-2, anything looked possible. I think if it, if it hit 12-3 or 13-2, it would have been game over. But fair play to the Serbians. They brought it back, and hopefully, you never know, they might be able to bring the... Uh, 
the, the next half back, maybe even take it to overtime. I don't know. Um, 11 4, 11 rounds to the CT. I, I'm, uh, I think the terrorists would have liked to have done better, but. Uh, you know, considering they were eleven two down at one point, I don't think they'll uh, they'll complain too much about it. So we await the team switch, and I could really do with a bottle of water, which I don't actually have at the moment. Here we go. Then the uh, teams have switched, and we now have the Serbians on the uh, well, the easier side on Inferno. But hey, you know, even though it is the easier side. It can still go either way. Counter Strike isn't an easy game, and you've got to be one heck of a side to uh, to even be in these SLTV finals, like these two sides. Both these sides, two world class sides, and there's a reason why they're in uh, why they're uh, at SLTV right now playing this game because uh, they can pop heads very, very well, and uh, most importantly, function together as a team very well. So Pasha with first bull onto Nico and this pistol on Emiv with one couldn't get the second, and Neo and Co making their way now up towards this B bomb site. Who's that then? It's K. He's been hurt and he's been blown to smithereens thanks to Mr. Neo once again. Snacks getting on the scoreline and let N1 the last man standing. Snacks is uh, trying to track him down in CT spawn. Four versus one. If your uh, name is let N1 at the moment, I have bad news for you. You've got a 4-1, four, 4 versus 1 clutch to try and deal with. It looks like he's going to go back and save. I'm not quite sure what he's saving. Saving a P2000? I don't know. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. But... Uh, <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Is he trying to save a P2000? He is as well. Oh, well, he got a kill. Fair play to him. Lovely shot as well. But the problem is now they know he's exactly in library. He knows he's going to get pushed from both angles. He's got Taz from one side and Snacks from another. And he is going to fall to his death. And uh, the terrorists winning that pistol around that... Well... Going into this half, Game Pub would have wanted to win that first round to maybe make it 11-5. Winning the pistol round, of course, on paper normally gives you the next two rounds. It would have put Game Pub right back in this game, but, well, the Poles won it, and it's not looking good for Game Pub, I'm afraid. But hey, it's a best of three. There's still another map to go. They might be able to turn it round in uh, the future map, so heck, they might be able to even turn it round in this map. It's Counter Strike, guys. Anything can happen. I know I always say it, but uh, that's just the truth. So, we've got three, yeah, three uh, Galils and two AK-47s for the terrorists. Pasha making his way up Banana, just spamming through those sandbags, making a little bit of noise, trying to throw the uh, Serbians off. We've got, I think, one P-250. No, we've got four P-250s and a 5.7 for Game Pub. Smokes have gone out near Banana. Nico's dealt damage onto Pasha, but it's not going to be too much damage. He's still got more than half his health remaining. Bayali and Co. walking up towards this A-bomb site really slowly. They're looking towards Boiler Room. No one's there. If Snaz can perhaps sneak into apps. They're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. They're all going to go around Quad. Nino, Nino, where are you looking? You're looking at the wrong place, mate. Here we go. Hello, hello. Letting ones on behind. 257 kills from Letten1. Wow, Bayali comes in. Pasha as well. A bit of uh, team attacking there between Bayali and Pasha. Bayali once again kills left, right, and center. And at 2 versus 2, still anything can happen. Pasha, well, just uh, say that Pasha does what he does best. And uh, take out two CTs. Slap bang in the face with a Galil. 13 4. But fair play to Let N1. He was hiding behind that app store and got two kills with a 5 7. Considering they were pistols versus rifles, those two kills could have been massive. But unfortunately, the rest of his teammates couldn't capitalize on it. And they still find themselves nine rounds behind. So let's have a look at the map. Two terrorists going towards Nana. Three just chilling at mid, taking their time. We've got Let N1 for the CT side, holding his position in apps. We've got two playing Arch, and only Nico on that smaller B-bomb site by himself. But, as we can see, Emiv is rotating back round to give his teammate a hand. So, Nico on 42 HP, all he has is a P2000. In fact, I think all of those players have a P2000, except KGR with a uh, P2, P2000. No, that's a, uh, whatchamacallit. Anyway, I can't remember the name of the gun, guys. Anyway, let's focus on what's happening. What's the name of the gun? 
P250, that's it. P2000, P250, get me confused. But anyways, where are these terrorists going? They're going towards the A-bomb site. Snacks, oh, look at Snacks! He came all the way from behind. He took down Nico. Lovely, lovely counter-strike from the terrorist. Snacks, once again, two kills from Snacks with only a pistol. Emmy, they're going to run into him. He's only going to get one kill. Four versus two. Down goes Taz. KGR let N1 now. One's hiding in pit. One's hiding around the corner. Pasha turns 90 degrees. Nails KGR in the head. And uh, Bayali, the rifle master of the Polish side, makes it four. Teen four. So two more rounds for the terrorists is all they need to secure victory on this first map. Sixteen four won't look bad at all for again. But now the CTs have weapons, it's uh, going to be uh, much harder for the terrorists. So let's see whether they can, uh, whether the CTs can capitalize on this. Maybe get their fifth round on the board. Maybe make it six or seven or eight. Get a bit of momentum going because momentum is a massive factor in Counter Strike. We all know that. And one throws that nade, blows up at the uh, feet of Snacks. Pasha pushing down Banana, making a bit of noise, trying to force something out from the Counter Terrorists, spamming a little bit. He's done a bit of damage onto uh, Emiv, but not that much. Every little helps, as the famous supermarket once said. So 14 4 the score here in round 19. With a minute to go. We're going to have a 4 uh, 1 setup from Game Pub. Four CTs on the A bomb site, and only Nico on the B bomb site by himself. Bayali slowly making his way in towards this A bomb site. He's going to go straight towards Arch side. He's um, uh, hunting down a few CTs. Nino. Is anticipating someone to come through apps, but no, they didn't anticipate Taz coming from behind. Bayali with a kill. They, they've got to pick terrorists up like that. They can't let terrorists just walk through Arch and get kills for fun. Team kill from Snacks on to Neo. Two versus two. Is that team kill going to come back to haunt again? Let's wait and see. Nico comes from behind. Takes out Snacks. Pasha with one. One versus one now. Pasha has just got to play it for time. And Pasha, what are you doing, mate? Ah, oh, that team kill came back to haunt again. Perhaps having that extra man in Neo might have secured the uh, match point for again. And, uh, well, I don't know what... Uh, I think it was Pasha. Was it Pasha just then? I can't remember. It was Pasha, either Pasha or Snacks. I don't know why they were peeking. They could have just played for time. But, uh, oh well, oh well, you know, the round's over now. And let's just see how they're going to uh, counter the uh, previous round, which, of course... Somewhat of a failure, unfortunately. Let's see how much character this Polish side has. So, all pistols on this terrorist side at the moment, They're taking their time. Oh, hang on a second. One of the CT pops out, but Bialy takes down Emiv, and now it's just Nico all by himself. What can he do? The one man tank. Nico is alone on that B bomb site. Nino's going to come from behind and try and help with that farm. He's going to take down one. He's got to reload, though. He's making his way back towards. Ruins, Nico with another. And Nino. Nico and Nino holding that A bomb site. Good stuff. 14 6. And at 14 6, the scoreline looks a lot more healthier for Game Pub. And, uh, yeah, hopefully they can uh, bring it back to maybe 14 10 or even 15 14 in their favour. Who knows? 14 6 is uh, how it stands. And the terrorists finally have AK 47s. We haven't seen any snipers bought by uh, any teams actually, other than Pasha and that one round where he had the auto sniper. Other than that, we haven't really seen uh, many orps go in, so uh, you know, it's interesting how different teams differ between their playing styles. A lot of teams I know like, like to have orps and uh, auto snipers on Inferno. Perhaps an AWP holding banana. These teams prefer a more rifle setup, and if it works for them, then uh, you know, do whatever floats your boat, I guess. But anyways, let's have a look at what's going on. We've got Nico, who's uh, in a bit of a Neo role, actually, with what we saw from Neo in the first round. He's pushed all the way down to the bottom of Banana. Still 5-on-5. Five five. Pasha only on 3 HP, so the shrapnel uh, of a bit of gun will take him out. But all the terrorists are making their way towards this bomb site now. Snacks. Oh, ho, 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 lovely shot from Snacks through the smoke onto Nino. How does he do it? I don't know. KGR's hiding in a perfect corner. Two from KGR. Pulls the pistol out. 
But uh, down goes Neo. Pasha now. Two versus two. Pasha, we, was, we said he was on 3 HP. But man, he's still a tank despite being on 3 HP. 3 HP still allows him to run around. Still allows him to pop heads. And he's more than happy to do that. Snacks made a lot of noise in apps actually. Pasha's going to throw that nade down towards let N1. And Pasha's going to fall to his death. 14-7. The, the clock was ticking. Only 10 seconds left. The bomb was down on the floor. And again, had to make a move. Pasha only on 3 HP. And the other player... Well, pretty much stranded in apps. It just wasn't meant to be. And are we going to see a comeback from GamePub? We'll just have to wait and see. Five on five. We've got another eco round for again. Well, they've got P250s by the looks of it. Yeah, they do have P250s. But, you know, again, they're so close to securing victory on this first map. But it's... The last thing they need is to have to keep eco in. But anyways, they're going to go straight for an arch push. Two from KGR, one from Nino. Can KGR make it a hat-trick? He's not going to make it a hat-trick. But both him and Nino are going to get two kills apiece. Good stuff from them. Typical eco bash. But now again, half weapons. What are we going to see from again? Are we going to see another failure of a round again? No pun intended. Um, or are we going to see something new? We're just going to have to wait and see. Because again, we know what they're capable of. But I don't know what's happened in the last five or so rounds. GamePub, I think they've won around five rounds in a row now. I think they had, was it two or, two or three rounds before they, they went on this winning streak? They've got all the momentum now, and they've got all the confidence. And momentum is so important in Counter-Strike. Any professional player will tell you how important momentum is. Just like football, just like just like any old sport, really. You get that first goal, it pushes you on to get that second goal, and rounds are the exact same thing. Rounds are the equivalent of goals here in Counter-Strike. So, 14-8. Nico by himself on the B-bomb site. Three terrorists making their way towards... No, four, four, all five. No, we've got one, two. We've got four terrorists making their way towards the bottom of Banana. Snacks all by himself. He's in boiler room. Let's see if Nino's going to deal with him. Where are these terrorists going? We see Emmy rotating back to B. Oh, and I, I think the terrorists tried to fake the B bomb site, but there still are three CTs on this larger A bomb site. The terrorists they're taking their time, but they're finally moving in. Nino is expecting someone, so is Let N One in pit. And I'll tell you what, these CTs are going to have one heck of a job on their hands right now. Neo, the one mad killing machine, making his way in towards Arch. He's uh, trying to get a few kills through the smoke. He's making a lot of noise as well. KGR, oh, two from KGR. He's going to make it a hat trick. Oh, is the four man on the cards. The four man is on the cards. Couldn't make it five, but KGR, I was calling Neo a one man army, but KGR is the one man army this round for Game Pub. Securing round number nine for the Serbians. 14-9, the score. And again, they've gone for a forced buy. We've got a Galil on Taz and four AK-47s. So, the terrorists have gone, this the counter-terrorists have gone somewhat aggressive. Oh, look at this, Nico pushed all the way down Banana. He's going to get one, he's going to get two. He's got to fall back and reload that weapon. Snacks, getting one kill. Snacks, no, can't get the other kill. What happened there? That was a fast round and Pasha is the last man standing for again. Can he pull this two versus one clutch off or not? Let's go and have a look at where he's going. He's got 74 HP opposed to Nino's 39 and Nico's 5. So it's looking quite healthy for Pasha, actually. But no, he's looking the wrong way. He's looking the wrong way. Where's the other CT? Is my... Yeah, sorry about that. My radar was deceiving me. So Pasha's made his way towards this A bomb site. He has the bomb. But hey, he's got plenty of time remaining. He doesn't have to plant just yet. He can wait out to try and see if the CTs are going to make a mistake of some sort. No, he's going to go straight for the plant. I think the CT will have definitely heard that smoke now, but he's not exactly standing in the most appropriate place based on the position of that other CT. Where's Pasha going? He's going to run right into Nico. He's going to take him out. And the problem now is that they know exactly where Pasha is. When I say they, I mean Nino. Nino knows exactly where Pasha is. He's going to try and smoke him out. And Nino with a headshot. 14-10. The Comeback isn't complete just yet, but my word is it on the cards. 14-10, round number 24. Who would have guessed it? I think it was 14-3 in favour of the Poles, and now the Serbians, they brought it back to 14-10. They're at LAN, all that momentum, they're probably shouting in their backsides off at the other team through across the hallway at the moment. Wow, terrific stuff. 14-10. is the scoreline. 
again have gone for the force buy once again once again no pun dearie me no pun intended I swear guys <laughs> who calls their counter-strike team again anyways the CTs are a man down as you can see on the uh, right hand side of your screens let's go back onto auto director Nino playing mid quite aggressively he spotted one terrorist he might fall back he's taking his time he's only spotted one though Oh, Snacks is making his way into this. Nino gonna pull the trigger. Nino hasn't pulled the trigger just yet. He was flashed, of course. Snacks might pull the trigger, but Nino pulled it first. Good headshot to even things out at four on four. Taz, along with four of his teammates near Banana, they've got to push this fast before Nino rotates. I think they're leaving it too late. I think they're, they've left it too late. Nino's gotten there, and hello! Nino's got one heck of a job on his hands, but no, he's decided to fall back. He's falling back to ruins. And Emiv with one. Can he make it three? He most certainly can. The bomb is down. Taz wouldn't let him get the fourth. But KGR comes in. Swiftly deals with Taz. 14-11. And the comeback <laughs> is looking more than possible at the moment. So 14-11. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. Let and one with 16 kills. KGO with 16. Nino with 15. Nico Emmy with 16 as well. Wow. Basically, no player on the game pub side has less than 15 kills. So you've got to admit that's one heck of a team effort. As far as, as again the concern, we've got Pasha on a massive 28 kills. Wow. Pasha biceps, flipping heck. I love whatever he's having. Bayali on 22 kills. Taz on 18. Snacks on 17. And Neo on uh, a negative KD, actually. 9 kills, 14 deaths. So, most certainly a game that he'd probably like to forget about. But then again, he's been holding the uh, B bomb side, hasn't he? And uh, again, haven't really gone there that much in the second half, at least. So where are these terrorists thinking of going? The bomb is on the A-bomb site. We've got two CTs on the B-bomb site. And again, I've got to try and act fast before Emiv rotates. So Snacks is going to push out. Oh, wait, hang on a second. They've all got P2, P250s. KGR with first blood onto Snacks. Taz is going to have barbecued feet as he runs into that Molotov. Let N1 with a kill. Pasha with another. Kills left, right and centre. Nino's looking for the hat trick, but he's not going to get it. KGR gets his second. 14-12. <laughs> on this first map of the best of three. Fair play to the Serbians. Wow. I mean, they could have they, they, they could have just decided, look guys, we're 14-3 or 14-4 or whatever it was. There's no way back into this game. There's no way back into this game. Let's just give again this map and win the next two maps. But no, this is the sign of an amazing Counter-Strike team. It's all good being good at popping heads. And being a good physical team, it's all good being able to use your mouse and keyboard correctly. But the sign of a real good team is a team who can motivate themselves. It's a team with character. A team who can come back from being 14-4 down to 14-12. And heck, it could even become 15-15. It could even become 16-14-2 again. But even if it ends up being 16-14-2 again, my word, what a, what a map from GamePub it will have been. So, five on five. Let's see how much character is within this game pub side. Can they do the impossible and uh, <clears throat> get a victory here on this first map of this BO3 here live at the SLTV CSGO finals? So, five versus five. No one yet to die. We've hit the minute mark. And both sides taking their time to really approach a bomb site. Nico and Emiv have got a 3 2 setup. And it looks like, again, they're going to go all out on this B-bomb site once again. They've got a numerical advantage. They've just got to really make it count. Where are they all coming from? They're coming from straight from mid. Nico started rotating. Again, they've got to act faster. But all those smokes are out. And the CTs, even though it's the terrorists putting those smokes down, I think the CTs are trying to use them to their own advantage. And it's most certainly working for them. Snacks has spotted one. Taz is getting closer and closer to that bomb site. He's looking for a CT to kill. Wow! Great counter-strike from Taz. Lovely AK-47 work. But three of the CT's coming to grab two kills. Two on two. Is it going to be what the doctor ordered for again? I said they had a two-man advantage. Is it going to work for them? Emiv is coming around the corner and finally again oh, at match point 15-12. Like I said, GamePub have come such a long way. You know, if again go ahead and win this round, then fair play to them. But what a fight back from GamePub, even though they might end up losing this map. 
So, 1512. If anyone on Twitch can hear me, can you uh, buy me a bottle of water, please? Thank you. <laughs> so, 5 on 5. Emiv all by himself on this A bomb site. And again, the, the B bomb site. Sorry, and again, are they going to go straight for a B push? No, they. Uh, I think they tried to fake it. Didn't exactly go uh, as planned. Well, maybe that's exactly what they planned. I don't know what's going through their heads. KGR holding uh, quad. He spotted... Oh, look, he spotted one of the terrorists, but no one managed to take him out. And KGR... No, that's not KGR. That is Snacks. He did manage to run away. So, Game Pub with the opportunity to get a, uh, a cheap kill there. Didn't happen in the end. Nico holding the B-bomb side along with Mr. Emmy. 15-12. We've passed the minute mark, and no one has died yet. Very slow game being played by both sides, and just as I say that, Snacks falls to his death thanks to KGR, who's pretty much stood out. Oh, lovely shot from KGR! <laughs> Through the smoke, how does he do it? Two kills before falling to his own death. Four versus three. Down goes Taz. And 15-13. Is it going to become a reality? Bayali's expecting Nico. He's going to take him out. He's expecting another player. Oh, he's dealt damage through the smoke as well. Bayali, 20 seconds and counting. He's got two kills already. He has that bomb on his back. He needs to at least go for the plan here. Or is he going to try and save his AK-47? Nino, he's going to try and spray through those... Through that smoke grenade, sorry. Emiv hears the bomb going down. Bayali's going to take him out. Wow. Four seconds remaining. Surely Bayali can't get the bomb down. Is the bomb going to go down? It most certainly isn't. 15, 13. Wow. What a game so far. We are at match point. Like it says in, your middle, in the middle of your screens. And our game pub going to do the impossible and bring it back from 12, 4 or 12, 3 down. My memory is rubbish. <laughs> And make it 15 all. Of course, if it is 15 all, we still need a winner of this map, guys. So we will end up basically going to uh, overtime of this map. So we've got an all P250 buy up from the terrorists. Not looking good for them at all. We'll probably see 15 14 now. Well, at least you'd expect 15 14 because Game Pub have the weapons, but you know, we know how powerful the P250 is on CSGO and Snacks has a Deagle as well. Not a popular gun, but uh, you know, some people on CSGO seem to be able to make it work for them. Did my eyes just deceive me or did that chicken just have reindeer? Oh dear. Valve, what are you doing? Anyways, let's concentrate back on the game. Did my eyes deceive me? I've, I've got to look up this VOD later on and make sure. That, I think I just saw like a mini reindeer instead of a chicken. I don't know, Valve, what are you playing at? This is Counter-Strike, not Chicken Strike. But anyways, Nino poking around the corner, manages to take Bayali down. Four on five. No one yet to hit the floor for Game Pub, and that's exactly what they uh, will have wanted going into this um, uh, round. Nino with his second is going to pull the pistol out. He's uh, trying to take down Taz. Does so with success. 15-14. Again, they were on a deco. They couldn't get the bomb down. They've got more or less enough money to go for the buy. Neo's on a bit of uh, a bit of low cash, but hopefully one of his teammates can drop an AK-47 for him. He is going to get an AK-47, and this literally is not just match point. Uh, yeah, this is match point. If Game Pub win this round, it'll be 15-15. If again win, then we're going to go into the second map 1-0-2 again. But again, after all their hard work, is it going to be undone by Game Pub? It looks like they want to go towards this smaller B bomb site. Emmy's rotating back round, but are again going to take it slow? Like they have done pretty much all this half. Or are they going to go for something different? We haven't passed the one minute mark just yet. The smokes are going out. Are again going to finally try something different. The Molotov is out. The CTs have this under control surely. First blood for the CTs. Nico spraying through the smoke. Takes down Bayali thanks to his Molotov. Nico bomb is down. Five versus two. Nico with a three man. Wow. No it was a four man. And Nico the one man army on that B bomb site. Overtime ladies and gents. Resumes in 45 seconds and Game Pub. We were asking the question, we were asking, are they going to do the impossible? And my word, have they met the impossible? The question now is, can they exceed the impossible? They brought it back 15 15. If again winning overtime, fair play to Game Pub, what a game! But if Game Pub win against again now in overtime, what a comeback. It has to go down as one of the greatest comebacks in CSGO history, at least, based on what we've seen so far from CSGO.
because it's quite um, a young game, obviously, compared to CS Source and CS 1.6. Where, of course, we've seen a heck of a load of amazing comebacks on those older versions of the game. But uh, not as many on CSGO just yet. So, overtime half number one. It's going to be MR5 by the looks of things. So, five rounds both ways. For anyone who's not familiar with CSGO and how overtime works, it's basically the same thing as uh, normal gameplay. I think everyone started off with 16k cash, and we're going to have halves of five rounds. And basically, whoever you know wins the most rounds out of five emerges victorious out of this map. Uh, after five rounds, both teams will switch sides once again, and uh, we'll go from there. It's not rocket science, it really isn't. So, we have GamePub sticking to the CT side, again, sticking onto uh, the A the uh, terrorist side, sorry. So, Pasha has dealt a bit of damage onto Nico at Banana. The bomb, however, is towards that A-bomb site. We've got a 3-2 setup from GamePub. We've just got Nino hovering in an uh, arch, getting ready to rotate to B if required. One minute mark has passed just now. So, where are the terrorists going to go? Can again get a round on the board? Or are GamePub going to continue their return to glory? Five on five. Nemo's expecting a few terrorists. They've heard Emiv. He's been spraying through the smoke. Letting one first blood onto Snacks. Wow! Kills left, right, and center. Nino! 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 Someone call an ambulance. We've got casualties on this <laughs> A bomb site. You know, I've called Nino a one man army a few times. But he's just shown us why he really is a one man army. What a player. He's been brilliant. Bayali was good on that B bomb site, but I think Nino has just been a tad better. A tad better. 16 15 is the current scoreline. Of course, the terrorists should be able to buy up, and they most certainly can. We have more, well, they were given 16k cash, so uh, they'll be uh, expected to uh, have uh, saved it up well. And, well, a team laid onto Snacks there, exactly not what uh, they will have wanted going into this round. 15-16, the uh, comeback looks very likely for GamePub. And wow, you know, if GamePub pull this comeback off, they'll have so much momentum under their, uh, under their belts, and again, will probably be absolutely demoralized going into the second map. They'll probably end up losing that and losing the entire game. So, uh, very quiet at the moment. We've got four counter-terrorists on the uh, B-bomb site, more or less. We've got Emiv who's rotated, and here we go. We're seeing a similar, well, very similar push towards this B-bomb site. Again, not really changing things up. Again, doing the same thing again. Poor pun again, I know. I did not mean to say it again then. And I just said it again. So, Nico, he's going to have a few terrorists coming towards his right. Nino, there he is, our uh, our champion so far. My man of the match so far, in this half at least. Nico, ooh, he uh, tried to get a few smoke kills, but uh, couldn't get any. And uh, he was compromised. Two kills apiece now. Nino falls to his death. There's one more CT in pit. Taz deals with him accordingly. And Emiv is all by himself. M4A4 in his hands. He's making a fair bit of noise. He's made a bit of noise. He's got Bayali to his right. And Bayali takes out the trash. 16-16. As we enter round number three. For this first half of overtime. So, let's have a look at the scoreboard. Stick auto direct one. There we go. Let N1, 22 kills. Nino, 26 kills. KGR, 21 kill kills. Nico, 22 kills. And Emmy with 18 kills. We've got Bayali on 13 kills. Wow, what a what a monster. Pasha on 29. Taz on 22. Snacks on 19. And Neo on 10. So here we go then. All aboard the uh, banana train. It is falling back though. Emiv has rotated towards the B-bomb site nevertheless, which uh, of course would have been exactly what again would have wanted to happen by faking that B-push. They of course don't know it's a fake, the same way we do. So Nino, oh Nino's bought up an AWP, I just noticed that. So that's interesting, I see we've got an AWP. Finally we uh, have an AWP in this game, and it's GamePub who've decided to uh, buy the AWP. Emiv looks like he's rotating towards the A-bomb site. Nino's holding apps, but I got bad news for you, Nino, mate. 
None of the terrorists are coming through apps. And if, this is a big if, if again manage to get the bomb down on this B-bomb site, then uh, Nino's going to struggle trying to take anyone out from apps with that orb, believe me. So let N1 is hiding at horse and he's going to get taken down. Three versus five. Where the terror is going? Oh, look at this. They're going towards that smaller B-bomb site. Bayali with the hat trick. No, with his second. Neo coming through Banana. Snacks taking out Nico and Nino. Oh, I mentioned him before. Let's go see where he is. He's still stuck in apps, guys. He's, uh, what a waste of an orb. But hopefully, hopefully, he can save it for the next round and do something some, something useful with it. It's as simple as that. Perhaps uh, orb mid with it. Try and get an early pick. Because, again, I don't think, again, no, he, that orb exists yet. They, I don't think they've heard that orb just yet. And unless they track him down and he gets a few kills with it, they'll have no idea that Nino has an AWP. And, well, he could very well take him by surprise by orping, uh, orping down mid. And down mid, I mean, towards T-steps. Um, exactly where Bayali is looking at right now. So, actually, let's go and have a look at Nino and see whether he is listening in and whether he is going to do what I just suggested. By no means is what I just suggested the right thing to do. It's just what I would probably suggest to him uh, if I happen to be sat right next to him at the moment. So, yep, is he, he going to go for it? He most certainly is. Nino's listening in, ladies and gents, but he went for it, and all the terrorists went towards Banana. Let's keep an eye on Nino. Nope. Oh, and he just looked away the second all the terrorists came back, didn't he? Damn, poor timing from Nino, but then again, he goes to show that he's not using war hacks. Wouldn't recommend using war hacks at LAN, anyways. Um, uh, and if you happen to be one of those uh, new CS:GO hackers who's bought the game on the cheap <laughs> very recently and started playing on matchmaking servers, we hate you. We hate you all. Leave our game alone. But anyways, no, I'm joking. I love everyone. So five on five is still the scoreline. Seventeen six. As we approach. Well, as we uh, approach the complete round number four and approach round number five after this round, is it going to go game pubs way or is it going to go towards again? 40 seconds. The smoke is going over towards that A-bomb site. The bomb is at the bomb of Banana, but we have more terrorists accumulating towards that A-bomb site than the B-bomb site. We've got a 3-2 set up. Nico looks like he just might rotate towards the, the A-bomb site. I keep mixing those bloody bomb sites up because I'm uh, used to see a sauce. KGR is going to peek out the corner and he's going to drop the bomb. So I'm pretty sure we're going to have a game pub round on the cards here. Taz, last man standing. He's going to take now one. And with 15 seconds to go, I don't think he's going to have enough time to uh, pull the 5 versus 1 clutch off. And the question now is, do we again know that Nino has an AWP still? I'm not quite sure whether anyone's run into Nino's AWP just yet. He didn't get a kill that round, so let's have a look at Nino again. Is he going to get any kills at mid? I mean, hopefully he does. Let, let, let's see what happens. So he's going to make his way towards mid, as expected. And surely the terrorists aren't all going to scatter towards Banana once again. You know, he's slowing himself down. Is he going to go for it? He's going to flash out first. Oh no, he flashed himself, he flashed himself. Nino, what are you doing, mate? Right, here we go. Nino's going to peek. Spots no one at car. And uh, he's playing it defensive. Nah, Nino's boring me now. Let's have a look at what's going on in general. So Auto Director still wants to keep looking at Nino, so obviously something seems like it's going to happen. We've got a load of terrorists going towards second mid, as you can see on X-ray vision. Nino's still holding the angle, and Nino might run into a few terrorists. Pash has been spotted at the bottom of Banana. The smoke is out, but Nino's fallen back. We've hit the minute mark, and we're still unsure on what's happening, really. Again, they seem to like taking it slow. Fair play to them. They like to keep the Serbs guessing, and... Uh, you know, I say this a lot, but teams do, uh, should, well, should do whatever flows their boat. They uh, practice certain strategies, they practice a certain way of playing. You have teams who prefer to play a faster tempo, you have teams who prefer to play a slow tempo. Same thing as football, same thing as all other sports, you know, it's all about your tactics. And some tactics work better than others, and some tactics revolve around, well, have to revolve around the types of players you have in your team. So, the Molotov has gone into a pit, and uh, we've got one CT rotating from that B-bomb site. So where the terror is going now, Neo's just spamming a few bullets. 
Got a heck of a load of CTs on that bomb site, but they're going to be surrounded now. Pasha's going to use his biceps to pull the trigger on that AK and uh, solidify the round for his team with two kills. Emmy's going to fall to his death. Taz with uh, his second kill of the round. And Nico is the last man standing on an unfortunate 27 HP. So we are going to see again, well, at least. I assume we're going to see again. Actually, no. Nico's going for this. He's got that kill onto Taz. I'll tell you what, Pasha's on low HP as well. He's making his way towards that bomb site. He's scouting left and right. But no, it wasn't meant to be. So we are going to have 18. I was going to say 8. We are going to have 18 7 to the polls. The teams are, of course, going to switch after 50 seconds. And we're going to enter the second half for overtime. So, if. Well, that's a big if. If the Poles, again, manage to, uh, well, get uh, three or more rounds in the second half of overtime, they'll win the map. Simple as. Forget the game pub comeback. Fair play to game pub for it, but forget the game pub comeback. Uh, it's the map that counts, and it'll go under again's belt. If, and that's a big if once again, if GamePub get 3-2 in their favour, we're going to have a second overtime. Which, for the love of me, I hope... In a way, I want it to happen, because the game has been an amazing game so far. But in a way, I want to drink a water. <laughs> but anyways, let's see what happens. 18-17. Reminds me a bit of uh, when I was casting at I-49. I kept having to uh, leave Biggs, who was uh, casting with me, of course, in the middle of games to go and buy bottles of water. And of course that meant I had to go to the toilet a lot but uh, and leave him casting by himself. Fair play to him though, he was a good sport, he, we, uh, he, he didn't mind too much. And yeah, I just saw a reindeer chicken. Valve, what are you playing at? I, I've seen some people on HLTV call him Volvo. Uh, that makes me laugh from time to time. But anyways, back into the game, let's focus on this now. Can our Polish friends emerge victorious or are our friends from uh, Eastern Europe? Well, technically they're both from Eastern Europe, but you guys see where I'm coming from. Going to uh, get the win. Oh, Pasha's got company here. That Molotov holding the terrorists back, but he knows they're all there. Are GamePub going to fall back and change their minds? Of course, let's keep in mind that ev oh, everyone had 16k cash to begin with. Taz has thrown that nade. He's dealt a lot of damage. Let him won only on 7 HP and Emmy only on 31 HP. So the terrorists, like uh, I uh, expected, they've sort of gone back towards second mid. They, uh, they're looking to slow the game down a little bit, but Neo is the only CT on B. And it surprised me, actually, that, again, that again I've only gone with a uh, one CT setup on B after what's happened uh, so far during this game. Bye-bye, Nico. Blown smithereens. And that's a good start for, again, Emiv sort of somehow managing to team flash his uh, teammate. Neo's going to take him down on that... Smaller B bomb site, KGR from behind taking out Pasha. Is the bomb going to go down? That Molotov is dodged by Nino and he's looking for a few more CTs. But hey, Nino, I'll tell you what, there aren't any CTs lurking inside that bomb site as of yet. So let N1, now him and his teammate just need to hold Druins. They've got someone on Banana, they need to play for time. It's more difficult to retake this from, from the CT's perspective than it is to hold it from the T's perspective. But Neo. We know what he can do. And he just showcased it to perfection there. 19-17, the score, guys. And, you know, I hate to say it, but I don't think GamePub are going to fully complete the comeback. Ah, disappointing, I know. But uh, I think, again, need only 21 rounds to basically win this map. And before we go to the second map, which I believe is Mirage. I honestly can't remember. Uh, it doesn't matter now. So let's have a look at the scoreboard. Um, if that flash goes away. Bali on 32. Pasha on 33. Taz on 25. Snacks on 22. Neo on 13. We've got Let N1 on 23. Nino on 27. KGR on 24. And Nico on 24. And Emmy on 19. So where the Terry's going, they've got, wow, four of them going through towards App. So Taz is going to have a lot of company coming his way. They haven't checked behind. Taz with one. Bayali with another. Bayali with another once again. Two from Bayali. Pasha coming in. Emmy with one. And 20 rounds for again and has the fat lady sung it might do after this round it all comes down to her is she gonna sing is she gonna give the three points to again well it's not three points but it's gonna be a map and it's a best of three final it's not a final i believe it's a quarter final semi-final but you guys see where i'm coming from 
And, uh, well, is all of Game Pub's uh, efforts going to go back down the drain? One minute 30 on the clock as of now and counting. Emiv's had a bit of damage dealt to him and, uh, again, look good. They look good on this CT side. We know how strong their CT side is because they, of course, beat Game Pub 11-4 on CT. So, Nico coming around the corner along with Nino and Lem. And let N1 behind him. The Molotov's going to go out. Nino falls through death. Pasha appearing like a ghost from behind. They know he's coming from there. Taz is going to get a kill. Pasha with another kill. Lovely use of sound from Pasha. Using his ears. Not only his biceps, but uh, using his ears as well. Two versus two. Pasha with two kills already. Good shot from KGR. Are we going to see another sign of intent from Game Pub? Maybe one last breath. Has the fat lady sung just yet? The bomb is down. And it's all down to this man right here, Neo. We know he works wonders. He spotted Nico, I think. And he's expecting someone in pit. Oh, he sees someone in pit. He's going to take down Nico. And he's got to try. He's got to pull. He's going to start the defuse. What's he going? He's, he can't find the bomb. He started faking the defuse. He's got to pick up that weapon. Is he going to take KGR out? Well played to KGR. He's using the surroundings of the map to his advantage. And surely now it's over and done with. It's over and done. Neo got the kill, but 2018, the round wasn't meant to be. I was asking as a fat lady song. She most certainly hasn't just yet. 2018. Are we going to have a comeback from Game Pub once again? Are we going to go to a second overtime? We've got two rounds remaining. If again, win this round, they will win this map. And we'll go into the second map. If Game Pub win this round, then it'll all come down to the last round of this overtime. Pasha with an important first opening frag. That's the first time I believe we've seen the Poles buy an AWP. We saw Nino, of course, buy an AWP earlier on. But uh, <coughs> the Poles decided to uh, gamble on that AWP. They had a lot of cash because of the 16k, and it's given them that one-man advantage now. Four versus five. Nade goes out onto Banana and blows Nico back to T-Spawn. So uh, is that him over and done with for this game? It will be if again manage to win this round. Five versus three. It looks healthy for again. But can they capitalize on this now? Pasha leading his team to glory with two kills already. 50 seconds on the clock. What Bayali's going to look. Oh, Nino spotted him. Nino's going to come around the corner. But Bayali, what a player, takes him out. Good M4 work. Five versus two. Surely the fat lady sung. Surely that's the end of the game now for the Serbians. Let N1 fall to his death. And KGR, last man standing. Again, win. Wow, GamePub didn't do it easy. But there's the win. And I'll see you guys on the next map.